Yeah, um, Richard Moore is my name, and um, my father christened me Richard in the 1950s, late 50s, and it was in the 60s that he described, decided that Richard was um, slightly too long, so he shortened it, and he made me into a dick, which is very unfortunate when I'm talking to people uh, nowadays. In those days, it was fine. Anyway, um, I am really grateful for you being here. I don't suppose you've got any choice whatsoever, but I do want you to know how grateful I am, because what I want to talk to you about is so close to my heart and so I feel so passionate about that I hope some of that will rub off uh, on you. Um, I hope that you'll find it helpful. Um, enjoyable? Mm -hmm. Probably not, but helpful, I hope. It may be that I prod some pretty painful uh, memories or emotions, and if I do, please feel free to uh, wander off, preferably not down to the town, but um, you know, just wander off if you, feel, if you feel like it. And don't worry if you do uh, feel um, wobbly at any time. Uh, I might. Um, the music I use comes from a playlist that I'll tell you about a bit later, um, it, but it is extremely relevant to what uh, I'm going to say. So, um, once upon a time I was an English teacher at a place called Cranley, a big co-ed um, senior school up in Surrey. Uh, um, I, taught, I taught English, I was a housemaster, I coached the first 15 rugby, um, and then I went down to the prep school world, and uh, any of you, were any of you at Stroud? I'm going out for lunch after this with Alistair Dodds. So if you give me your names afterwards, I should be able to say, well, yeah, he behaved quite well, she was dreadfully badly behaved, and blah, 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 blah. And we'll see how things were five years ago. Um, so I was at Forest Sandal Manor, which some of you may have played matches against in the past. Uh, and I was there for nearly 23 years, and I packed up three years ago when I became grumpy and boring uh, and bored. Um, and fortunately, my wife, who ran the school anyway, at all intents and purposes, then got a job at a posh girls' boarding school uh, in... Um, in Berkshire, and I won't be telling you which that one that is. Um, and I became a house husband. Now guys, play your cards right. If the exams go badly, it's always house husbandry. It is a cool profession. Profession, probably not profession, but a pastime. Um, so house husbandry is good, but when I was living in this boarding house, girls boarding house, um, I then went back to a bit of teaching and I told everybody else how to teach for 23 years, suddenly I had to do it myself, which was uh, a bit of a challenge. Um, but I enjoyed uh, this posh girls boarding school, um, and um, um, my wife now teaches PSHE, runs the PSHE and teaches maths at Francis Holland School in London. Um, I want to introduce you to my boys. Now, and oh, with this piece of music, you will all know that first bit. Anybody recognize this first to recognize it? No? Radiohead? No? Oh, well, it's Radiohead. Um, my boys are uh, a typical, normal family. Uh, Charlie, Tris, Dom and Barney. Two of them went to Marlborough, two of them went to Bryanston. One of them went to uh, Charlie here uh, was here until, just finished his degree, so four years ago. So actually some of you might have been just about here with Charlie. Um, so that's how I sort of know this place a bit. Now, we were, are, the Moore family, are extraordinarily normal. And that's an important part of my message. Because there was nothing unusual about us. We were pretty conventional. Uh, three of my boys were very keen on their rugby, uh, particularly Charlie. Uh, and were averagely bright, um, normal, middle class, fairly affluent, very fortunate, very privileged. Everything seemed to go well for my family. Um, we were sort of very fond of each other, um, and um, yeah, life was good. That was until September the 19th, 2011, when you would have been, whatever year you'd have been in, nine, ten, something like that, nine. And at six o'clock in the evening, on that Monday evening, I was doing some work in the staff room. And a bloke came in, a colleague, and said, Dick, Dick, there's some people here to see you. And I uh, said, who? He said, well, you've got to come, you've got to come. So I walked out, and um, there, waiting for me, were two policemen. Or rather, one policeman and one policewoman. And they were there to tell me, my sort of world tilted. You know how it is when something awful happens. Sometimes you go, oh, God. And I thought it would be about Barney. And Barney had driven away from us six days before having been dumped by his girlfriend six weeks earlier, in August. 
And having been dumped by his girlfriend, he set about trying to win her back. Uh, and he got very intense and very frustrated, and he couldn't get her back. And he had expressed the wish on September the 15th that if he couldn't get her back, that life wasn't worth living. So I had a horrible feeling that these policemen were there with something to do with Barney. And lo and behold, they were. And they told my wife and I that Barney had been found in a hotel room in Reading and that he'd taken his own life. And it was, as you'd imagine, uh, uh, the worst moment of our lives. And it was absolutely bloody awful, frankly. Um, however, however, it, it, it's had an enormous number of silver linings, this terrible tragedy. It has, if you like, it's opened up new ways of looking at things uh, for me. And whilst, um, whilst I still find it exceptionally sad, inevitably, there are, um, what it did do is it gave me a passion for finding out what makes people tick, people like you tick. I thought I was pretty good with young people, um, but in fact I wanted to know more. So I did a course on youth mental health first aid. There are courses run all over the place, and you, uh, when you're 16, you can go on these courses, and they're really interesting and fun. Two days, not expensive. And then I became an instructor for that organisation, and I also joined an organisation called the Charlie Waller Memorial Trust, charity. 